Hey guys, my San Ninja Team Sun. I uh, just wanted to quickly kind of go through like the future of what I'm trying to build up with decks. Uh, first deck I'm really trying to work on is uh, actually not really the first, uh, but trying to resurrect Fish OTK. Um, realistically, I'm using all the same cards that I originally started out with. It seems like a lot of the new Fish OTK is starting to use him. Uh, no one's else really I've seen using Abyssal King Shark. Uh, He's still using the same engine, like always. Just because I find this is a really good one. Um, with newer cards, uh, Frilled Ravka, so I can ditch out from Nimbus on Fish for Frilled Ravka. Um, still need another one of him. Uh, other than that, I'm trying to figure out like some kind of OTK ideas, uh, stuff to sync out. So I do have the options of anywhere between, like uh, I think, 5 to 8. Maybe even higher. I don't know. I haven't done all the map on it yet, but I got some pretty various levels. Um, definitely some exceeding I can do between these or, of course, these. I don't know if there's a rank 7 exceeds for Saddle Camp. But either way, there's definitely some exceeding that can happen. Uh, Magic and Trap cards are generic fish OTK stuff. Uh, very generic stuff. I uh, definitely need some more Marais. Uh, they're kind of apart because of some other decks I'm trying to build. Uh, definitely some other stuff that I'm working on is Gishki. I didn't think that they actually had a solid build yet. Until, of course, I went on kind of Duelist Network, kind of looked stuff around. Uh, kind of came up with like this hand screwing idea one. That was terrible. Uh, but it's using two Abyss, uh, three Aerial. I definitely really like Ariel. Ariel's probably one of my favorites. I'm glad that this build uses it. Uh, three Beast. Just because of his almost instant exceeds effect. Uh, three Shadow. He searches out like the Ritual card, I believe. Yeah, Ritual Spell card. So he instantly becomes like one of those top uh, monsters that the deck wants to use. Uh, there's another two sets of three monsters I'm missing. I'm missing my three Manju, uh, three Gishiki Vision, and two Gust Rake. Because all I have right now is my Mind Angus. And although she is great, I definitely need the rest of the uh, Gishiki monsters. Uh, that's really all I'm using for monster lineup. Plus I need some more sleeves for them, so... Gishiki monsters. And for Magic of Trap, it's all, like I said, hand advantage. So you got your 3DD designators, uh, the mirrors, just, uh, of course, because it's Gishiki. And I found out, like, the stupid, like, recycling part to them and, like, the draw power the deck actually has. It's really ridiculous. And then you got your two more of green, just for those little misdraws or whatever else you want to try and get Gust Rake to your hand, because Gust Rake is, like, the focus of the deck, essentially. Uh, one my body, just for that little protection. Uh, two prep of rights. Uh, both of the rituals I use, I believe, are level 6. I think Gust Rake is actually level 7. I'm not sure. But either way, I can search out the move and obviously accelerate the deck. Two salvage. Uh, that's mainly for your vision or Gisky Shadow. I might throw in a third one just because I really like the fact that I can actually use it. Um, these two aren't actually on the deck list. Uh, but Heavy Storm Dark Hole, I just use it because it's Heavy Storm and Dark Hole. Like, really, you can't go wrong with it. And not to mention the destruction in the deck this is very, very low. So, um, where you can constantly be picking at your opponent's hand, I can be destroying the field and as well. So, just personal tech, I think it should be in there, but it's up to you guys. Uh, two Meditation, uh, just to kind of help out recycle it more stuff again. And got one Mind Crush, looking for the second one. Uh, other than that, uh, three water alloy. Alloy makes a lot of the cards inside the hand live, just because you can remember some stuff from the hand. And of course, whereas you have Mind Crush and Designator, they have to you have to know the name exactly. So alloy, you could be looking at the entire card, studying it, activate them, pick off not only one from alloy, but you can de de designate like three more and set up for uh, some other ones. Uh, really great for anti-exodia decks. Uh, I've just locked out on some of these, just randomly picking a card out of the blue. Uh, but really, I like the way the deck runs, and I really find it consistent and beautiful. Uh, so comment, rate, subscribe, and tell me what you guys think.